Hello everyone. Welcome back to computer class. Today I am going to teach you MS Word. We have reached lesson 22. So today's lesson is about MS Word. MS Word 2007. Now let me come to the point. Earlier people were recording their documents in the books. But Nowadays, everything is computerized. Most of the time, we prefer computer than book. So, if you want to type a letter, create documents or anything may be related for typing, you can use computer. There are many softwares available for typing. In that, MS Word is one of them. So, why so late? Let's start. Now, let me tell you the basic thing. Whenever you open your computer, you have to refresh it. I will show here. We have to use mouse. In mouse, you should give right click. You will find many options in that you have to click on refresh. Now everything will be refreshed. Otherwise, there is a shortcut key for refresh that is F5. In keyboard, there are many function keys. In that, you have to click on F5. That is the shortcut key for refresh. Now, let's continue. Now, let's start MS Word. Here, you can see the screen that is called Desktop. The screen of the computer is called Desktop. Then, you will find Start button on the taskbar. The bottom line of the desktop is called Taskbar. At the left corner of the taskbar, you will find start button. It is similar as windows symbol. You can see here, first we have to click on start button. Then you will find many options in that you have to click on all programs. After clicking all programs, again there will be many options. In that you have to click on Microsoft Office. Under Microsoft Office package, there are many softwares. But we need typing software so that we are going to click on Microsoft Office Word 2007. Here you can see the window of Microsoft Office Word 2007. This is called page. In Microsoft Office, whatever you can see the blank document that is called page. Here on the page you can see the blinking line that is called cursor. It shows where are you going to type. The top of the window is called title bar. The title is written document Microsoft Word. That line is called title bar. Again you can see there close button, maximize button and minimize. So if you want to minimize the page you can do so as well as minimized page you can maximize it then if you want to close the page you can close it. Here corner side you can see scroll bar. You can see at the corner if you want to move the page up and down then you have to use the left mouse button then you have to hold it and you have to drag. Then here you can see the bottom line that is called status bar. Status bar helps us to see the pages. You will find there page 1 of 1. It means you are there in first page. If there are many pages it shows there. For example 3 pages, 4 pages, whatever may be it shows. As well as there you will find word. When you type it shows how many words you have typed. Under status bar, right corner, you will find zoom in and zoom out. If you want to zoom in your page, you can do so as well as if you want to zoom out your page, you can do that. You have to use the scroll button, then you have to drag it. Otherwise, you can click on minus as well as plus button. In, in that way, you can zoom in and zoom out. Now let me show you how to type. You can see there cursor point. There you have to click on 
then you have to use keyboard. Now, here I have typed two words. When you type something, if there are spelling mistakes, it shows there. What I have written the word computer. While I was writing, I have written L spelling at the end. So there is spelling mistake. So that you can see there red underline. So as well as it shows under the status bar. You can see there red mark. It means you have written the spelling wrong. So if you want to correct it, there is an option. You should right click on the word. Then you will get many suggestions of the spellings. In that which word you prefer, you can choose. This is the way you can correct your spellings. If I hope you have understood till here. Now let us see some of the components. As I said just now, you will see status bar. Next you will find there view toolbar. It means if you want to view your pages in different ways, you can do so. Then at the top, you will find Microsoft Office button. It's very important. At the top, you will find Microsoft Office button. It's very important to create a new document, to open a document which you have done earlier, as well as if you want to save a document, to take a printout for everything, Microsoft Office button is necessary. So in my next video, I will explain all those things. Next one, quick access toolbar. There you will find three things. One is save button, then undo and redo. Save button is a shortcut method to save as well as undo and redo. When you type something, if you want to go back, then you can click on undo. Again, if you want to come back, then you can click on redo. Next one, dialog box launcher. There you will find different groups, clipboard, font, paragraph and styles. Then you can see there tabs, home tab, insert tab, page layout, reference, mailings, review and view. All these things are called tabs. Then title bar. Already I told about it. The title of the document is mentioned. So that line is called title bar. At the end, ribbon. The entire box is called ribbon. So far, you have learnt some of the components of the Microsoft Office window. I hope you have understood till here. I am going to teach you many more things about MS Word in upcoming videos. I hope this video will be useful one. Thank you for watching. Do like and subscribe my channel.